Hello, everybody. Hey, what's up, guys? So, this is our very first episode of the Steve O'Nacco Steve <laughs> Steve O'Nacco Show. Excuse me. And um, pretty much, we're reviewing our first film tonight. And which is um, what we just got to watching, actually. Which yeah, is Predator. Predator. 1987, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Come on. So, we're sorry, you know, about the time. You know, it's a little bit late. It's about uh, like 1.57 in the morning. So My eyes are a little tight, as you can see. Yeah, but uh, we're, we're sorry about that. But yeah, pretty worry. much, um, all right, so let's review this film. So, I, I fucking love this movie. Oh, yeah. I really it's do. Awesome. It's awesome. Predator uh, and everything. Just yeah. Predator, like, I don't care what people say. Alien, alien, nah, nah, nah. Predator. Predator beats Predator all, all the way, yeah. For alien species, other than Superman, let's admit, Superman could probably beat his ass, but it's, it's, it's well, Predator yeah. for most of the badass movies, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, definitely, for sure. Um, I mean, and who who better to fight the Predator than fucking Arnold, dude? The, the Terminator yeah. himself. You know, holy shit. He did a marvelous job in the movie, all in all. I mean, there were some iffy parts about it, like, you know... So just some corny parts, but other than that, you gotta love the corny parts. It's the eighties, you know. Yeah. Eighties is supposed to be like that. You I know? mean, it wasn't all too that corny, but it w- wasn't as serious as like today's films. But yeah, like, you know, I I loved I love the story. It's got a great cast. I mean, it's set in a, an environment that, you know, like it's spooky, like it's a jungle. Can you, ma- it, yeah. can you guys imagine that? Like a night, just like you're trapped in a jungle with some fucking alien that's He's trying black. to trying to kill you and he can see your body and the only way for you to hide is in mud can you believe that i mean yeah, that's just oh just, tell you one thing if i was in the military and i got done seeing that shit yeah i'm retiring right away i'm pretty I'm sure you would be yeah just, I'd be like, at that point you i don't i don't even know dude it's just <laughs> you you would be to sit to ask. My grandkids would telling be like, some pretty crazy stories. My grandkids would be like, Daddy, our grandpa, what happened when you go back to the war? Well, kid, I saw this weird ass alien thing. Pretty much killed me and my entire squad. Almost killed me. I got away. Then I think you're a badass, and there you go. No yep. one would believe you. But, you know. Predator killed himself in the end. He know? did. Yeah, technically, Arnold, he never, he never really killed Predator. Predator. He was still alive when that log was on his chest. Spoilers. Spoilers. Spoilers yeah. Whoever Spoilers. hasn't seen it was sorry. We tend to do this a lot. Yeah. Even to our friends. Probably going to keep hearing us saying this a bunch of times. But that's not the point. So, Predator did technically kill himself with his um, his arm bomb. So, but god damn, that's, I mean, here's a, you brought up an interesting point, like, before, you know, the movie ended. Oh, yeah, what was like, that? Like, um, oh, Predator. In ATP, I, we yeah. all know that when the well, bomb went off in that flashback sequence, it killed thousands and thousands of aliens crawling over that fucking pyramid. Yeah, that's the but only part. The arm bomb goes off, and Arnold goes by in a lock, and he survives. Yeah. I mean, well, it's Arnold fucking Schwarzenegger, but still. <laughs> I mean, yes. some things are better left unanswered, I guess. But, but um, like, you know, yeah. I mean, don't forget, that was also the very first Predator film they ever made. Yeah. They didn't really know how bad the atomic bomb was. It was more like a little bomb blowing up. Like exactly, movie. yeah. And they, I mean, they look, made it look like Arnold got away, like far away. But Maybe he got some cover that I don't know. It, it I mean, it would have made away sense. everything else. If he would have de- dove into the water, then that would have made sense. Yeah, like, you know. Although I mean, an atomic bomb would dry up the water, wouldn't it? True, yeah. Would do that. Who knows? Just, but I, I Hollywood, don't care. Hollywood. Yeah. I I just go with it. It's still a good movie, though. Great you know, film. Great. Um. Pretty much uh, the first part that we see ourselves as is when Arnold goes into the jungle with his squad, the the the, the rescue team. Yeah. Uh-huh. They go in and they try to go find the, the, the Hopper's squad. Or no, no, it's a hop. Um, shit. <laughs> it's uh, Hopper, yeah. yeah it's Hopper. either Hopper or Hopper. It, it's hard to, to nah, tell with Hopper, it. It's Hopper. Because he says anyways, it in his accent. Stuff, anyways, so. Hopper. Yeah. Anyways, okay. Hopper. Yeah. So anyways, I said that like fucking ten times. Oh. Something you guys should all know, um, just a little, you know, fact for all you comic book fans out there. Shane Black was in this film. Ah. He's also the director of Iron Man 3, and he you was know, the you know. first one to get killed by the Predator. Yes. Predator you know. doesn't like Iron Man 3. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I got pissed off at the Mandarin. <laughs> he's, he's like, that fucking Mandarin! <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't get it. it like Did a, you see this coming? <laughs> oh yeah. By the way, tomorrow night we're gonna do a little special. 
We're gonna do a little uh, other little movie tomorrow. But for right now, let's focus on Predator. Yeah, we're focusing on Predator for tonight. But yeah, oh my God, great film, great yeah. opening. I love how they open the film. With a spaceship coming in. And Space, then... and then they go down to Earth, and you show it shows Arnold and his crew just like coming on the beach. And then he talks with the general, and he yeah. fucking has an arm wrestling match with Carl Weathers, also from Rocky. So Rocky, you know, he's been. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Rocky films are also great. Awesome. Although I gotta say, Rocky Five piece of shit. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. I didn't like Rocky Five. Steven, you're going off track here. We're supposed to focus on. Oh Rocky. yeah, Fred, not Rocky, Rocky, not Iron Man Three, not any other yeah. movie out there. We just went on a tangent. All right. That's our anyway, so where was I? In the jungle part when they're on the rescue team, right? You know, yeah, they're, they're looking for Hopper. Hopper's the squad. Yeah. Green Beret captured. Right. All done. It's supposedly killed by the uh, by the, the terrorist group. Yeah, the, they think it's killed by some Al Qaeda terrorist. Those people, people they kill in the movie. But really, it's the predator because he's getting these motherfuckers alive, they're hanging from their toes. Well, and they the can't tree. track him because all he's doing running from treetop to treetop. Hey, you know. Yeah, he uses the, he uses the tree a awesome lot. Too. Bad yeah. Idea. So very cool how he used the environment to his advantage. So. <laughs> and about. I mean, did anyone else notice this? I, I might be the only one that's noticed this, but whenever, remember when uh, Mac, right? Mac? Mac. Bill the, Duke's uh, Bill Duke, yeah. He uh, stabs, like, the pig? looks like he's going to stab uh, Rocky IV, the dude, Carl Weathers, right? Oh, yeah. yeah Carl yeah. Weathers Carl in Weathers. the shoulder. Little does, he, little does he know, he stabs a scorpion, kills a scorpion for him, and steps on it, right? Well, when a predator goes and picks it up, it kind of reminds me of a husk from the Alien series. Yeah, it's only and I was telling him, yeah, that's it's kind of a good point. Because I mean, why else would a predator want to go over? It's pick almost it up like and look at it like this. It's you know? almost like symbolism, and like even though the first alien came out before Predator, the first alien came out in the seventies, yeah. as you all know. Sigourney Weaver. Um, Sigourney Weaver, great fucking movie. Um, but yeah, it could have been a little hint of symbolism towards the xenomorphs in a way, mm-hmm. probably. Hint towards AVP that they wanted to do. Yeah, maybe in the future, movie. maybe the fans were like, you know what? We saw Alien with Sigourney Weaver. We saw Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now we want to see these two motherfuckers fight. 2004. Two that, yeah. <laughs> they had to wait a lot of years to get that movie. We got it. It was fucking awesome. But anyways, after that scene, after the husk scene that I thought was, you know, he was referring to in the movie, then they went on to, in the jungle, when Predator started picking them off one by one, with the, uh, uh, what's it called? The hostage. The, the hostage, hostage. Yeah, the hostages. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, when she was back to the younger days, I thought she was pretty cute. Cool. Right. The girl that was the hostage. Oh, the girl that was the... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what else has she even been in? Oh, wait. You know what? She was in um that one movie, Jack Nicholson, that I forgot. But it was in the 1970s, and she was so much younger and yeah. so much hotter. She was. Yeah. So, a lot more attractive. But now, yeah, she's probably like in her 60s or something like that. <laughs> a lot older, for sure. She's old. She's... Time, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, shout to all the others out there, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, great film, great fights, a lot of a lot of shooting. First character, as you guys know, he kills of off Iron Man 3's director. What's his name? I already said that, Shane Black. Yeah, Shane Black kills him off. He's done. He's yeah. Gone. And then yeah, they go on that, to, uh, who else dies? He kills Blaine after that. Yep, Blaine, Jesse Ventura, right? Yep, Jesse Ventura. Yeah, Jesse and then, Ventura uh, ter- then he kills Mac. Then he kills Dylan, then he and then after that, then he kills uh, uh, Billy, and then he kills the uh, Poncho, Poncho, the, the guy with the grenade launcher. And then he tries right to kill Arnold, but then Arnold says, "No, get to the chopper." He yells to the girl. The girl runs. Somehow gets to the chopper. They didn't really show. Yeah, him. they didn't show that. But that's another part. But the other scene that I thought was awesome was that you know Predator, as you could see the close up, was a heat vision going onto Arnold's back as he's running through the forest trying to get away from Predator. He that was, was so, cool. Yeah. That's what I would have done. I would have read my hands. He went over off. those falls. But then he, and then he slid down the wow. mountain, or whatever the hell it was, like a little landslide. Yeah. Happened. He fell down, and then boom, in the water. Yep, and right in the water. That is exactly what I would have done. And he looked like he was, Arnold was like, he was done. Like, he looked like he was going to pass the fuck out. I mean, his face was in the mud. Yeah, when he swam to shore. And all of a sudden, the prayer just goes, <laughs> when he goes right in the water, and then Arnold starts crawling towards the, the vines and the weeds. Fuck, what the hell is that? And then... Yeah. No, the brother. <laughs> no, so and he puts the mud all over him, and then that that one glorious scene, like where they're getting ready for war, and he's putting on the face paint and everything, oh, yeah. and the mud and everything. He's making weapons. The predators, like 
And for those who haven't seen trophies. Predator or anything like that before, the mud normally helps you camouflage the person. The body heat, yeah. The body heat. So the, you predator can't, the predator can't see them, you know, properly. Yeah. Because that's the way they can see. They don't see, like, you, you being a Yeah, they it. don't see anybody. Then, but, uh, yeah. then um, you know, the fight scene, the last fight scene. Predator, I oh. mean, as you people notice, Predators. He's strong. They're, no, no. Not only that, but they also fight with honor, and I, I like that. You know? They have a tech. They have a certain technique about them too. I mean, th- these bastards can pick up cars. Like, a, I mean, I know that from reading the comics. Yeah. So. They can pick up cars and a bunch of other shit. They're just yeah, strong. They're, they're, like, they're, they're like strong bastards. They're strong as like um, not Superman exactly, but strong. You know, big. They're not as strong as Superman, but they they come pretty close. Yes. Pretty close. And then um. So. It's pretty awesome. Definitely. Predator, definitely. Number one alien for me. Just a classic movie, for sure, though. I mean, mm-hmm. Arnold was definitely, like, on the top of his game. Like, this was, like, when he was, like, you know, top in the box office. This was the, 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 his, was this after the shining years of his career. Was this after Commando? This was, yeah, Commando was 1985. That was a good film, too. Great film. You watch it. Um, yeah, this was two years after Commando, I want to say. Because Commander was 1980, I think it was 84, 85. I want to say 85. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Oh, no, wait. Uh, 84, he did Terminator. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Commander was actually the first film where he was the good guy. It was a good one. Yeah. Terminator, wait, was it? Nah, I remember that piece of shit movie he made with Hercules? Which one? The very first one. Oh, yeah. That was the first film he was ever in. Hercules. Hercules. <laughs> he was in New York. Or was Hercules. It's terrible. I mean, he fights a bear for fuck's sake. A guy in a, a bear, bear costume. It's like, Nicolas, it's like Nicolas Cage in that one movie, The Wicker Man, running. I like, never even watched that. You never seen that? that? <laughs> is that the one with the bees? The bees! Is that the back where that scene is from? The bees! Oh, no, no, oh, the not bees. the bees! Not the bees! Uh, ah. No, 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 it gets good, it gets good. You have not seen this scene when he runs up in the bear costume. And the girl's up in the sacrifice. Supposedly, this is all I've seen that scene on YouTube. Whatever. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> It's fucking hilarious because it he's is, running up yeah. there. He's like, "Oh, is this for you?" Boom! Punches right in the face. She falls. <laughs> he goes to go for the girl. <laughs> that shit was funny. <laughs> you guys ever seen the? Um, I, I I know that like my like okay look I know what YouTube other YouTubers out there like Nostalgia Critic. He's hilarious as shit when he explains that movie. Which explains what? <laughs> the Hercules in New York. Yeah. Yeah. No, not Hercules in New York. What, what are you talking what? about? What? He was the Wicker Man. That's oh, the not... Wicker Man. Oh, <laughs> Nicholas Cage. <laughs> what the, who, who does he pressure for that? It's hilarious as shit because it sounds just like Nicholas Cage. Oh, Nicholas Cage. Oh, we go. It's only good only movies. bad movies. I mean. Ghost Rider 1 and 2 and Face Off. Ghost Rider could have been better. Yeah, oh, yeah. But we're not going to get into that. Right we'll now. get into that another time. Anyway, um, Predator, Predator. Predator, yeah. Um, I mean, there's nothing really else I can really say about it. I mean, the special effects were really good for the 80s. For the 80s, yeah. Not bad. How they got them to go invisible. Not, not bad at all. Oh, yeah. And then if you guys don't know, did you ever tell them about the scene? Like, you know, when the guy's in the helicopter, the, you know, the dude that plays Predator? What's his name? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Uh, another true fact. Actually, I have two more true, true facts for all you YouTubers out there. Um, first one is, at the end of Predator, um, Kevin Peter Hall, who actually plays the Predator, gets a small cameo as one of the helicopter pilots. So yeah. you see him for about four or five seconds, and all he, his only lines are "What the?" and then yeah, what that, the? what the? Because after the explosion of Arnold getting the hell away from him. Yeah, exactly. And the other true fact is about this movie, they were originally gonna get Jean Claude Van Damme to play Predator, but in another suit. Yeah, in a different suit. suit. You know, I mean, it had a long, getting neck. It looked like a fucking like uh, a raptor, brachio- raptor almost. Almost like a brachiosaurus. Yeah, right? like a raptor. It was you know? weird. It was really. It was, weird. It was I, awesome. I saw this. I, saw I mean, this I mean I'm, I'm so glad they did with the look they did. Yeah, so. the I look mean, they did was a genius. Predator to this day is probably the most savage, badass alien out there. Oh my god! Yeah, definitely. He, the guy is a beast. I mean, have you guys seen well, the guy, The thing is a beast. The thing, yeah. The, the fucking alien is a beast. Now, that's, like, that's right. right. And then they, for people that don't know who Predator is, there's a little backstory. They go by a code of honor. Yep. Blah, blah, blah. They hunt for the thrill. Hunt for the thrill. and They, they only go after the deadliest prey. And also they go in the hottest zones or wherever so they can see the heat better off the person. Yep, exactly. So the hottest times of the summer, mostly. Mm-hmm. Although, maybe 
AVP are kind of big known as that. Yeah, I mean, AVP. When they go to Antarctica, they, they still see body heat, but, you know, they can, because, yeah, they mean, can still maneuver. It's whatever, you know. Yeah. You know. But, uh, yeah. It's a good movie. It's an awesome movie. Classic, 1987, directed by John McTiernan, I think it, you pronounce his name. I think yeah, so. he, he directed uh, a couple of the Die Hard films with Bruce Willis. Mm -hmm. Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those are his movies. Bruce Willis. Anyway, uh, movie, anyway, Predator though, great movie, awesome. great movie, great character, great my, cast. Well, that was one of my first movies I think I've seen with Arnold, believe it or not, when I was about oh, I'm gonna say six, five, whatever. Uh, my first Arnold movie was uh, the first Terminator, actually. I mean, I've seen that. That's a good movie. Too. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Even though Terminator Two is my favorite. And plus, the, the Predator movie. also. I know this is a little different than what we're talking about Arnold here. But Predator also, they have like their own ranking system. Like in the first one, he was like the Predator supposedly was a young blood that went to Earth to go for the hunt for his elders. Yep. The King Predator. I don't know. I always called him the King Predator. The guy with the, the king. king. Yep. The badass. Yep. I thought he was always badass. Yeah, they send these these teenage predators, these young bloods to like our age, like seventeen. It's sort of like a, a rite of passage for these things. guys. You know, they 13, send them yeah. down, and I mean, not bad for his first time out. I mean, he took out a whole. Squad of trained killers. Yeah, that was I mean, that, that's impressive for you know young predators for ten days out. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> I'll, I'll give them that. Predator, yeah, definitely. You gotta give them credit. They're trained at a hard age, and like I think when they're born, like Spartans, like the Spartan code. Yeah, they kind of are, but them. they're like alien Spartans. Yeah, that's what they are. But just more better. Exactly. They're a lot better. Well, not the Halo Spartans, like you're thinking. Hmm? You're thinking about the Halo spawn. No, I'm thinking about three, I know you 300. <laughs> I know you too, motherfucker. <laughs> anyway, anyway, yeah. Because this kid likes Halo. I mean, I like Halo too. We both like Halo. Master Chief. I mean, didn't they do like the YouTube thing about that? Yeah, they did. <laughs> we, we both like Halo. That's, you know, that's awesome. Yeah. We hope you guys like Halo too. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Yeah, it would help. It's whatever. Yeah, it is whatever. I don't if care you know, about I don't give a fuck. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's all we can really say about it, mm -hmm. about Predator. Great film and everything. But, uh, yeah, I mean, so. That's, that's I mean, I'd like to give one can... shout out to Nostalgic Critic with The Wicker Man. That, that shit was funny. That was awesome. <laughs> the Bear Suit? Oh, yeah. That was funny. There's I never saw that episode of Nostalgic Critic. Really? I got to show you it sometime. Yeah. At some point, I'll watch it. It's hilarious. I'll watch it. Hilarious. Awesome. But, uh, yeah, I mean,. Yeah, the, that's all we can really say about this film. But, Predator, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, it was for how long? An hour and uh, 15 minutes or less? An hour and something and change, I'd say. Yeah, something like that. I mean, it wasn't that long of a movie when you see it. I mean, first time like seeing like that with every movie, that's how it is. But whenever you see like a movie, just yeah. you know, 10 times. So, I mean, yeah, you guys just, um, yeah, let us know how we did reviewing this film. I mean, th yeah. that's, that's how it's. You know, comment like if we missed anything, what you guys want to add about this movie, your opinion on this movie. I mean, this is just our personal opinion on yeah, this movie. We don't care what you guys got to say, say whatever. So, yeah, I mean, this is the, the opening, you know, first episode of our show. I don't know, the quality isn't so, good right now. The quality, yeah, we, we got to work on it. But, yeah, we got to work on a couple things. And I know we're late on the time, so, but, you know, oh, yeah. so. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, here yeah. I am sitting here, you know, this kid's about to order a pizza. I'm like, Steven, we got to get on YouTube now. It's like 10 o'clock. Hey, we, we ordered the pizza before. It's October so 2nd. It's August 2nd. October 2nd? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, it's good. Anyway. <laughs> so. It's August 2nd. It wasn't August 1st like I wanted it to be. Oh, well. But, oh, yeah. um, yeah, um, I mean, pretty soon we'll be reviewing another movie. I mean, uh. Right back. Like I said before, you guys can uh, comment, and um, you guys can just comment what movie title you guys want us to review and stuff, and we'll do it. I mean, we'll pick a random one, we'll review that, uh, and we'll give our honest opinion on it. We're not going to give any bullshit answers. So, what? <laughs> Tomorrow night, Here people, comes we will do Iron Man 3, for all you nice people out there. Even though that's... Um, Iron Patriot. Iron Patriot, fucking mask, but that's okay. <laughs> That's a Batman boy. Sorry, I feel like Batman every time I'm in this. But uh, are you, everybody, have a good night. And uh, thank you for watching our first video. Have a good night, everybody. I promise it will get better. Do it. It will get a lot better. better. Stick around. Stick around.